Hello viewers. If you remember in my previous episode, I think some couple of um, weeks back, I told you when the firmware 2.10 came out, that it's like it's most likely going to be supporting Ableton Push. And now it's here. The Ableton Push is now supported on the Akai MPC. And this actually came about with the new update again, which is the, the Akai firmware update 2.10.1. And I've been able to try it out on the system. I was able to actually configure everything and make it work properly. Let me show you how. So like I mentioned earlier, I've been able to connect successfully my own um, Ableton Push 2 with the Akai MPC. And I did that using my system. I'm going to show you basically just how I was able to you know, get that sorted. Now, um, connecting my Akai MPC Live 2 with the system, that's the MPC software, also with the Ableton Push 2, I use a Push 2. Um, the good news is the previous firmware, I told you, I mentioned in there that we have just some level of communication, but at the time it wasn't kind of like perfected. Now, when Akai releases MPC firmware 2.10.1, I could notice that yes, it actually now supports Ableton Push, even according to their release notes, it supports the Ableton controllers. And that's what we're going to do right now. Connecting everything together, all you need to do is on your system, you can go to LAN. When you click on LAN, all these sites become enabled, they become hot, basically trying to learn from you. That's basically how you might have been doing it before now. And you can see do it that way right now. But to make things a lot easier, if you just get out of this LAN, come to this MIDI mapping, go to factory, and then you will see Ableton. It's not only Ableton that is the controller that has been enabled right now. I think about some three or four other controllers that's also, also enabled to work, you know, on this device very well now to have the communication work perfectly. Right now, if you click on this factory, you go to Ableton, you put Ableton push one or push two. Mine is two, I select two. And just like that, anything I tap here, as you can see, as I'm tapping it here, it's corresponding to the actual spots here. So this is it, the second one, the third one, fourth one, five, six, seven, eight. So all the parts. And if I want to change my banks, I can do that easily from here. This is my bank A, B, C, D. As you can see, it's showing, it's changing even on the screen here. And I continue, E, F, G, H. Those are my eight banks right there. So everything is responding as they should. This plays it, yes, and this can record. So the play, the record, all those buttons, they pretty much work. Um, and that's basically how I've been able to successfully map the Ableton Push 2 with the MPC. As you can see, you can go ahead and try it out if you have, um, if you are currently using Ableton Push 2 or any of those. Just go and check. I would advise you go and check out the release notes because you might already have one of those new devices. Um, or those maybe the existing devices that are not mentioned, the controllers, that you know is not compatible with your MPC. But for now, but now, they are now compatible. I will advise you also take a time out to try and always update. Always update your firmware anytime it comes out because it helps. It might be taking care of a bug. I noticed something even with the previous, I'm going to talk about it, yes. Um, the MPC, the, off, the firmware update 2.10.0. Yeah, the first one that came in before this new one. I realized that sometimes my archive MPC just starts freezing and then it restarts and tells me it's, it, it, um, I think it's restored from the previous operation field or something like that to give me that error message. It's happened to me like about two, three times. And now the good thing is after I've done this update and I've used it you know, extensively, I've not actually experienced that. If it should pop up again, I'll basically notify Akai. But for now, I've not experienced that. So. Aside from the fact that what the archive or the, the firmware update to do to your device, it's also interesting and helpful that you try to update your device in due time to take care of all those bugs and you know, fix all those errors. But for now, archive firmware 2.10.1, a good one. And the handshake that I mentioned in the previous version has now been perfected and it's working you know, seamlessly. I think what I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to actually do the learning, the MIDI, I'm going to do the MIDI learn from the archive itself directly to the Ableton, which means system not included from here straight to this place. And we're going to see how that works perfectly. So there you have it. As you can see, 
there's still a lot more to come right with this relationship i believe it's going to be super super awesome share your thoughts anything you've been trying to do personally on your own device that you feel you're having issues with feel free to reach out to us drop your your questions in the comment section below and we'll definitely take it up and you know attend to you don't forget to also like share subscribe and we'll see you in the next one